Hello to everyone, Genius Kozer here. In this video I want to show you how to create this material. If you want more interesting stuff, please subscribe on my channel, write some comments, like or dislike videos, it all motivates me for recording new. So let's start and um, first of all I need to assign Corona material on this object. Next I need a um, texture. I will use this one. It's just a simple scratches and uh, if I assign it in a diffuse color we can see that it have round mapping and I no have any time to unwrap this object so I can use blend box map it's really cool stuff that added in 3d max 2017 and as you can see in a few clicks I've got a really nice texturing Next, I need to set up this material. It needs to be something like this, so I need to add a color. This can be easily do by mix map. Color 1 will be blend box and color 2 can be just a simple color like this next I need to mix them together I will use 50% maybe a little bit of that Mm -hmm. Next we need to add reflection to 1, IR will be 8 or something near of it. Next I don't need so glossy material so I can decrease by 66 and now it becomes appear more like I want next all metal material need to be dark dark diffuse color so I will fix it just add output map enable color mapping and change this spot to Bezier corner next create some curves like this and it will help to make more metal look next I need to put this color or something like this in the reflection and uh, it became more interesting maybe less saturated like this after that I decide to add more interesting effect by Corona ambient occlusion so in an occluded color will be this slot next this node can be as occluded color and RGB level maybe all three so it's really dark if you want to see more clearly how Corona Owl works you need to create another Corona material assign it to the object then put Corona Owl in the diffuse color 
you can also uncheck this too and uh, see how it works now it have a little bit large distance so I decrease it by maybe two centimeters or one and five next I want to create it more contrasty so I will add output map yes and here crank up the contrast maybe like mm -hmm. this as you can see it appears more interesting you can also change the color spread here and make it more stronger next you can make it more interesting by adding some dirt map or in this case we will use noise you can also preview the noise size by applying it here mm -hmm. now as you can see we have pretty large noise size so I will decrease it maybe we'll try 20 maybe less 10 yes it looks already much better we can try it with ambient occlusion so as you can see it appears more randomly now also we can make it fractal maybe little and more contrasty so something like seven and here all three yes it looks much interesting now and uh, now we can apply this material here we have some interesting patchy effect we can check these both so it looks more interesting now we can create this darker almost black this can be lighter a little bit and now it something like this and the finished touch will be glossy surface we will create it with corona layered MTL as the base color this here we can create chrome material so diffuse black or zero reflection one IOR off and glossiness one here in layer zero and mask fall off also in the mask zero we'll change it to threnal and um, assign this material so 
as you can see we have now this nice glossy effect on the side and here it appears more rather and it all looks really nice I hope you like this video and um, please write some comments so I can see that it is really interesting for you and I will record more interesting stuff. Subscribe on my channel and uh, see you next time. Bye!